Tiramatina Te moana nui o kiva. Ah, this is a special and ancestral name for that place that we call the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the deepest and largest body of water on planet Earth. And it's the home of over 25,000 islands. Now, over 50 years ago, some brave men and women, they left their Pacific Island homelands and they made their way across this ocean, Te Moana Nui o Kiva, looking for a brand new paradise. They found their paradise here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. And some of those people heard a whisper on the wind that said, West is best. So they settled in the Henderson area. And those people are people we know today as the Pacifica Mamas. The Pacifica Mamas is a group of elders and artists who come together and share the arts, culture and language with the community. And it's our pleasure to be here today to share with you a very special workshop. Now, when we think of the drums, we know that all across Te Moana Nui o Kiva, the great Pacific Ocean, you will hear different kinds of drums. There's a specific drum sound in Fiji, a drum sound in Samoa, the drums of Tonga, the drum of Niue. But today, we want to take you to our homeland. My name is Tuaratini. I'm usually called Auntie Two. I'm called Auntie because I'm what's called a Pacifica Mama in training. And this is Uncle John. John Kiria is a master drummer from the islands of Aitutaki. Now, Aitutaki is in the Cook Islands. And so today, we are going to share with you a short workshop on drumming the drums of the Cook Islands. Now to start off with, Uncle John is going to explain each of the drums that we have with us. And he's going to play for you a very basic rhythm. Now the good thing is, you can play along. You've got these two things here, your hands. So he will play a rhythm and then we will clap that rhythm back to him as best as we can. I'm not a master drummer, but I think we can give this a go. Handing it over to you, Uncle okay. John. Thank you, Auntie Tu. Now, this 
instrument. This is called a pa'u mango. Say pa'u mango. Literally, it means bass shock. Pa'u means bass. Mango means shock. And it's made out of mahogany tree. On the top here, we've got, um, we normally use the shark skin. But then we move from the shark skin to the goat skin. But because of the everyday problem we have, math, it's not a problem, it's an issue with math, when we travel between, say, New Zealand to Australia or throughout the world, they have an issue with the skins of the goat. So we improvise by using now canvas, which you can get from the warehouse, or also you can get from any warehouse store throughout the world. So this is what it sounds like. Is a paumango. So a paumango, yes, a paumango is used to be made from shark skin. You know, the shark from in the sea. Sharks are scary. So I'm glad we don't use shark skin anymore. So as Uncle John said, that instrument is called the paumango, or the drum that's made with shark skin, like the shark that swims in the sea. We don't use the shark anymore. Let's see if we can play the rhythm of the pa'u mango with our hands. Can we hear that rhythm again? Let's give this a go. That's the rhythm of the pa'u The next drum here we call the pa'u. Say pa'u. Pa'u means bass. As you can see here, the pa'u mongo only have one sided. This one we have two. It's a hollow trunk of tree. On both sides we've got them covered. Like before we used to have goat skin to use it, but now as per the Paumongo, we also can use the canvas and put it together. Both sides have got slits, got holes, and then put it together both sides. And of course, this is called, made from mahogany tree as well. And it sounds like this. This is basically the heartbeat of the whole orchestra. The heartbeat. If the heartbeat, just like us, if it goes wrong, every part of this whole symphony goes off. Okay? And the sticks that you use is not like the other sticks. This is made from the hibiscus tree, and it's very light, but very strong. So, let's use our drumsticks yes. to play the rhythm of the pa'u. Let's do this together. Steady, like a heartbeat. Very good. Okay. Now our next instrument. <clears throat> this is called a pate. In Rotonga they call it pate. In Aitutaki, this beautiful island here, it's called tokere. Say tokere. 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 <clears throat> now there are different types of tokere. This one, as you can see, it's got two, it's got ear, this part is called the ear, and the ear on this side as well. And it's got a slit through the middle here. The depth of it creates the, the sound. There are high, low, medium tones made. But this one is one of the lead, it's called the lead pate. And this is the one basically that leads the whole instrument. It goes like this.
as you can understand, some of them are very higher and some of them a bit lower. You blend them together, beautiful Cook Island sound. So let's try the rhythm of the party using your own drumsticks, your hands. We're going to clap that basic rhythm together. Listen. Sounds good. Yes, and the sticks that plays for that is made out of iron wood. And now these sticks, you don't play it on the tip, otherwise it will break. You play it right in the middle, so it gives you that very, very deep sound. Okay, moving on to the next drum. This is called the tikita, and this is known as the accelerator, just like the car. This makes it go fast or make it go slow. This normally starts a lot of the beats. It's same features as the one before, but they're all in a miniature size. And it sounds like this. Now these, you have to play with two sticks. Mm. As you can see the size of the sticks, they're thinner, smaller, but very strong. So you can go medium, faster, very fast, so very slow. And that is a tikita. Say tikita. 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 Okay. Uh, Uncle John, Yes. I don't know if my hands can clap the rhythm of the tikita. I'm not sure how we could do it. Let's just do it. Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> That's the one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, Thank so this you. is to, to play this you had to be you had to practice because these ones you only play off and on. This one you're going hard all the way through. So there's no stopping, there's no uh, you just start everything and you moment you keep the momentum of the drum drum beat going. Wow. How long does it take to learn and become a master like you <laughs> at playing the drums of the Cook Islands? Like everything else, it takes practice. Sometimes some good ones, if very fast at picking up, it can take them a couple of days, sometimes a couple of weeks, sometimes a couple of months, sometimes a couple of years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How long it's, did it take you to be such an expert? Well, when I grew up, all my brothers were doing all this. So breakfast, dinner, lunch, and everything, they are basically doing it. So our time, it didn't take me long to learn the whole the whole art of drumming. Thank you for the basic session on all the basic rhythms for the drums of the Cook Islands. Can you demonstrate what someone at a master level sounds like? I, I, that all sounded very much master level to me. Because, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, but, no problem. But if we can just listen to you without me having to clap along, <laughs> what would it sound like? Okay, with the bow mongo. It's like the um, you are the in between of the bow and the tokere and that. So you are in the between, so there is no gap. So in other words, if this start, then you come in. And then when you finish, that one starts again, then you come in. So you kind of like a, it's in the middle of that and the lead. It keeps it together. And with the bow, well, the basic bow, That's another one. Then you put the party 
and the both together. Well, firstly, let me just demonstrate how when you play this at another level. That's just the same beat, but with a single way and a double. And then if you put these two together, it goes like this. Ooh, sounds like dancing music to me. Yes, and wow, but this one, as mentioned before, the fast beat. That's a slow beat. And you go medium. And the fast beat. That is a fast beat. Thank you very much, Uncle John. Now, the drums of the Cook Islands, or the drums of the Pacific that you're seeing right now, are drums that are used these days for entertainment, having a good time. But in history, the drums that were used in the olden days, before electricity, before fast cars, the drums were also used as tools of communication. So this was how we communicated important messages across our village or across our tribe. It could have been a very simple message, like there is a meeting in the middle of the village. Yes. Or it could be a very serious and sad message, like the chief has passed away. Or it could be a message of a great war or battle is coming. It was the drums that was used yes. to send those messages. Now that we have iPhones, iPads, <laughs> internet, Facebook, we don't use the drums to send messages anymore. So the drums have become tools of entertainment. entertainment. Yeah. So what a, can you just demonstrate for us one, one message sure. that might be sent using the drums? This is a beat when there's a meeting in the village. That means? That means there's a meeting happening. You hear I played four times, so it's a meeting at four o'clock. Oh, wow. I made it four. Meeting at, at four o'clock. So the drums were how we used to communicate. Now, I know that not everyone has drums at home. And I know that you'd like to practice maybe some of the rhythms that you've heard here with Uncle John today. So I have a few suggestions. If you have at home <coughs> one of these, a bucket. A bucket creates a good sound. All you need to do is find a stick, okay? Don't go hitting people. <laughs> Don't go hitting mum's pots and pans. Don't go hitting the glass windows. Use the bucket. Wow. So a bucket at home is a real good way to create the drum sounds that you've heard today. If you have the old picnic mat, a mat at home, now some islands in the Pacific actually drum using the mat. So you can play the same rhythm on a mat. You could put the mat down in front of you and a whole lot of you could play together, play this basic rhythm. If 
you really don't have anything that you can bang around in your home, you've got your, your hands. trusty hands, yeah, right. and they will always bring the drums of the Cook Islands wherever you are. Clap along. Yeah. One more. And that is a short workshop on the beautiful drums of the Cook Islands, courtesy of the Pacifica Mamas. Me taki ma'ata to you, Uncle John. All good. Thank you for being here today. And me taki ma'ata to you all. I hope you've enjoyed it.